Oh, hi, everybody. Today, I am going to talk to you about numbers and measuring and maybe even salamanders. Huh, I really like salamanders. So, one thing we use numbers for is when we are measuring. Measuring! Measuring is finding out the size of something or the amount of something. And we can measure many things like time, weight, temperature, or even speed. But today, we are going to measure length. Length! Length is the distance between two points, like uh, how far it is between the start and the end of something. And we measure length to find out how long something is, and also how tall, or wide, or even how far away something is. Okay, this might be a little confusing, so why don't we take a break and uh, have a snack? Hum, hum. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, when we measure the length of something, we measure with units. Units! There are many standard units that you can use, like inches or centimeters. There are also many non-standard units that you can use, like uh, paper clips. Today, I want to use my favorite non-standard unit, the salamander. It's a salamander! So, right now, salamander is going to be a unit that we can count and use to measure things. But before we do that, we need to talk about the rules for measuring, which leads us to a new segment called... The important rules for measuring length in straight lines with non-standard units. Wow. That is a long title. <clears throat> Rule number one. All of the units need to be the same size and direction. Sorry, super tiny salamander. Sorry, turtle. Rule number two. All of the units should touch each other at the ends, but not overlap on top of each other. And they should also not be spread out. Salamanders, come back. Rule number three. Usually, the units need to make a straight line, like this, but not like this. And rule number four, when measuring something, for example, the length of this book, we start the units next to one end of the book and finish at the other end of the book, like this. So we don't start from the center of the book, and we don't start from over here, or in some other place, like, uh, the beach. Okay, that now ends the part of the show called... The important rules for measuring length in straight lines with non-standard units. Okay, so now, let's do some measuring. First, we need something to measure. What should we use? Oh, I know! How about cows? With funny hats! Ha! Okay, here we have three cows. Blue cow, red cow, and yellow cow. And they all have funny hats. But I want to know which cow has the tallest hat. So we will have to measure the length, or some might call it the height, of each cow's hat. And first up is blue cow. Let's measure the height of blue cow's hat with salamanders. Remember, we start measuring at one end of the hat and go in a straight line next to the hat all the way to the other end of the hat. So, blue cow's hat is one, two salamanders long. Or we can also say two salamanders high. Okay, red cow. Red cow's hat is one, two, three, four salamanders long. Or, we can also say, four salamanders high. And last is yellow cow. Yellow cow's hat is one, two, three, four, five salamanders long. Or we can also say, five salamanders high. Now, let's compare hats. But first, snack time. Hum, hum. Okay, that's enough. So, blue cow's hat is two salamanders high. And red cow's hat is four salamanders high. 
four is a larger number than two. So that means that red cow's hat is taller than blue cow's hat. And the opposite is also true. Blue cow's hat is shorter than red cow's hat. Now if we look at yellow cow's hat, it is five salamanders high. Five is a larger number than four. So this means that yellow cow's hat is taller than red cow's hat. And the opposite is also true. Red cow's hat is shorter than yellow cow's hat. And five is also a larger number than two, which means that out of all of the cow's hats that you can see right now, yellow cow's hat is the tallest. Hat. Taller hat. Tallest hat! Yay! Okay, good job. Now that you're getting better, let's measure how wide each of the cow's hats are. We call this the width. Width. And instead of measuring up, we will measure from side to side, from left to right. Ready? Let's go! So, how many salamanders wide is blue cow's hat? And how many salamanders wide is red cow's hat? And finally, how many salamanders wide is yellow cow's hat? So, which cow has the widest hat? Okay, that is all the time today we have for measuring. And remember that you can measure things too, like right after this video is over, and even if you don't know any cows with funny hats. And if you don't have any salamanders to measure with, you can use other things like rulers or erasers or even your feet. Huh, I wish I had feet. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more laughing and learning from Scratch Garden. Did you know that we have many Many videos with salamanders? No, it's true. Our salamander videos have created an immeasurable amount of happiness for many, many people. Okay, bye for now.